Hi, my name is Carol and this is Hummingbird Spot. Today we're off to Cabo San Lucas to find an endemic hummingbird. If you haven't seen my previous trip videos, you can click up there and click down there to subscribe and follow me as I attempt to photograph every single hummingbird species. I've been to Cabo San Lucas many times. It's a popular resort city on the Baja California Peninsula at the very southern end. It's pretty close to LA, so it's easy to get there from here. But all the times that I had been there before, I wasn't aware that there is an endemic hummingbird in the area. So I figured it was back to Cabo San Lucas to find this hummingbird. Well, when I was pricing out flights and hotels and food and all that, I figured it would be cheaper just to hop on a cruise ship and go down there. Cruise ships leave from Los Angeles and go to Cabo all the time. So I booked myself on the Royal Princess, which was scheduled to leave Los Angeles, arrive in Cabo overnight, and then come back to Los Angeles. So we left the port of Los Angeles and we were on our way to Cabo. I don't know if you've ever been on a cruise before, but they're actually quite fun. The food is wonderful. There's lots of activities. I love to watch the wake at the back of the ship and sunsets over the water are just incredibly beautiful. They had a jogging track, so every morning I could get up and exercise, take a two mile jog around the track. Um, there's plenty to do. We arrived in Cabo in the afternoon and I got off the ship and made my way to one of my favorite restaurants down there I remember. It's called The Office and it's right on the water and you sit in tables that are under the umbrellas in the sand. Really love that place so I was glad to be able to go there. I hired Birding Los Cabos to help me find the endemic Xanthus' hummingbird. And they sent Maria Elena Muriel out to meet me at the ship at 6.30 a.m. so we could get in her car. And she said we were gonna drive out to Todos Santos because she said that was the best place for me to be able to photograph the bird. Maria Elena took me to a place down a dirt road where a lot of flowers were blooming that were favored by this hummingbird. So we were looking around and it wasn't long before we found a female. We stayed there and photographed her quite a bit and we were looking around hoping that a male would come, but he didn't. So we drove into town and found a male perched up on a telephone wire. Not exactly the most beautiful perch, but it was a beautiful male. This bird is named after Janos Santos. He was a Hungarian biologist who first collected the specimen in the 1860s for the United States National Museum, which is now the Smithsonian. Santos is how you pronounce it in Hungarian, but we call it Zantos, this hummingbird. When the light hits the throat just right, it looks green, but most of the time it photographs black, and it has a white ear stripe, which is pretty pronounced. They both, the male and the female, have cinnamony brown underparts, more on the female. This was a nice quick trip on the Royal Princess to get to see another endemic hummingbird. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell, because next Sunday we're going to Colombia.